Hi there, I'm Melissa Colgan with Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine and Style Parlor TV. I'm here today at the Fine Jewelry photo shoot for the November issue of Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine and I've spent the last six months kind of going over different jewelry trends. We have a mix of real pearls, everything from freshwater to Tahitian to Akoya to some more fake pearls. You can combine them in a look and mix it up and um, it, it just gives you a little bit more depth. These are just some Alexis Batar bangles. They retail for about I think a little over a hundred dollars or a little under a hundred dollars. This great watch by Panerai with this green croc strap. This necklace or this ring, these are both from JB Hudson. You've got a classic gemstone drop, but it's put on a more contemporary rope, so it's not as stuffy as most traditional gemstone jewelry can be. Again, for something a little more traditional, great sapphire necklace, sapphire and diamond necklace. And for the boys, I love the tongue-in-cheek aspect of the little bulldog blue bulldog cufflinks here. J.B. Hudson in downtown Minneapolis recently became the local exclusive retailer of Chanel fine jewelry watches. The weight of it is just stunning and then the face with the diamonds it's just it's absolutely brilliant. We have these cuffs and of course these are more along the line of a great and fabulous fake. Just rhinestone and a black lacquer cuff. If that's too big for you there's something smaller as well. These are both from Styled Life in downtown Minneapolis. Some really nice diamond tennis bracelets. These will never ever go out of style. A couple of these are estate pieces and then this one here is by Robert Foote Jewelers. If you're not somebody who's comfortable wearing the traditional type of jewelry. You can still incorporate fine jewelry and costume jewelry and great estate pieces with a, a little bit more of a bohemian flair. This is a great gold cuff from Styled Life. Again from H. Stern. I absolutely love this ring. It's a hair leaf ring. It's gold with a little bit of diamond accents on it. This is made from an antique Chinese gaming chip. It was put into this pendant necklace. So wearing something like this has just been around forever. Well, I hope I gave you some good ideas today about incorporating new pieces of jewelry into your existing wardrobe. The holidays are right around the corner. Make sure you take a great look at our November issue and see if there's something there for you or for a loved one.